This video is about what are lipids. Lipids word is derived from the Greek word lipos which means fat. Lipids are also considered as the major source of energy for the body. Lipids in our nature are present in different forms. They are available in the form of fats, oils, steroids, waxes, and some other related compounds. Other related compounds means there are some fat soluble vitamins that are also derived from lipids. There are some unique properties that are associated with lipids as lipids are insoluble in water. Why they are insoluble in water? Because of their hydrophobic nature and because of this hydrophobic nature they are repelled by the water. Why they are hydrophobic? They are hydrophobic because of their structural properties. As you can see here in this structure, the lipids are the long chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms. Because of these long chains of carbon and hydrogen atoms, they are nonpolar. So because of nonpolar property, they are hydrophobic in nature and are they are repelled by the water. And why the water repel these nonpolar lipids? Water repel them because water is a polar molecule and is, you can see here this is the water molecule it has a positive and negative ends positive ends because of hydrogen and the negative because of the oxygen so these positive and negative these makes the polar water the polar molecule and the non-polar lipids are then repelled by the positive and negative ends of water molecules so that's why they are not dissolved in water then in which solvents or in which liquids these lipids will be soluble while the lipids will be soluble in non-polar solvents which non-polar solvents examples are chloroform benzene and ether because these non-polar molecules these will not repel the non-polar lipids this is because the non-polar solvents do not have positive or negative end so they are not repelled by the non-polar tails of the lipids because they are also non-polar and lipids are also non-polar and they will be dissolved and will not be able to repel each other because of the positive and negative charges just like the water molecule which was a polar and will have a positive and negative and that's why they repel the hydrophobic lipid molecules and they were not soluble in the polar solvents but they are soluble in non-polar solvents because these non-polar solvents does not have the positive and negative ends and that's why they will not repel these non-polar lipid molecules from where we can get these lipids the sources of the lipids include oils nuts and seeds fish fish is the major source of omega-3 fatty acids eggs eggs are also the sources of lipids and dairy products dairy products which includes milk cheese and yogurt why we need lipids we need lipids because they perform different functions that are essential for our body first of all they provide energy the most important function of the lipids are that they are the storage form of energy lipids are stored in our body and whenever there is depletion of carbohydrates as the carbohydrates are the quickest source of energy then the lipid sources are utilized otherwise they are stored in the body in the form of fats the other function of the lipids are building of the cell membrane as these lipids are the major component of the cell membranes they build the structure of the cell membrane so these cell membrane as they provide the outermost covering and boundary to the cell by providing the boundary to the cell, they protect their organelles and they also control the passage of substances for the entry and exit from the cell. Lipids are also utilized in the body for the production of different hormones. As lipids have different classification, so one of them are the steroids or you can say the cholesterol. They are used for the production of hormones. These hormones that are produced by these cholesterol derivatives they are used in the metabolism reproduction and development processes of the body 
What are these hormones? These are aldosterone, cortisol that are involved in the metabolism and development of the body, whereas the testosterone and estrogen, these are the reproductive hormones. Lipids also have the protective function, how they provide the protective function as they surround the different organs in our body. So by surrounding these organs, they protect from the injury and they protect it from physical damages. They also have a role in insulation. By insulating the body, they protect the information loss. As example are the nerve cells. By providing insulation to the nerve cells, they prevent the loss of information. And these insulation, they are also involved in regulating the body temperature. There are some vitamins that are derived from lipids. They are known as fat soluble vitamins. So these lipids are also involved in absorption process of these fat soluble vitamins. These fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E and K. And these vitamins are also act as a derivative for some of the enzymes that are utilized in our body for different metabolic processes. That's all for today. The next lecture will be about the classification of the lipids.